Right, I don't know how clear this picture is, like it's pretty dirty, so. Yeah, it's still not brilliant. I've now primed the carb, I've just put some in through that tank. Um, this tank does actually have some fuel in it, but not enough. Um, I've now connected up the electricals, it has compression, I think, I hope I want it to. And it's time to see if it starts, eh? Just have to jump it. Come on. Don't be a prick. Why aren't you working? Battery connection issues and starter motor could be a possibility. Screwdriver. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, mate. Stop this. Problem solved. Oh, well, that's bad. Yes. Oh shit, my spark plug just exploded. <laughs> There's a the spark plug, just came out the hole. <laughs> oh well, at least that's all I know, that's all I need now is a new cylinder head. God, that made me jump. Didn't make a dent in the back of my chair. Bet I don't have no compression now. Oh well, I'm not going to complain. It. The reason it didn't start up the first time you need the air box and all that kind of assembly bit here that's all, that's what as it's running, it should, if you go back a little bit, you might, you should see like a mist kind of spray coming out this way when it's got the air box on, that kind of gets stuck right about there and it gets sucked into the engine and it kind of runs off of it but, at least I know this spark plug works because it's a good one right yeah and that's what caused it not to start the first time, that's why I had to stick the choke on I can get this before normally I can get this thing to start just by idle. Oh, and at least my battery's good. That's what counts, you see. See you guys later.